Hey guys, I'm Megan from MeganPlus5.com and you are on day nine of 30 days of DIY Christmas ornaments. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cute little gnome using supplies from the Dollar Tree. And I'll leave below a list of everything that you'll need to make this ornament. So the first thing that you wanna do is to trim some pieces off the bottom of your mop. And then you want to pull those pieces apart. Um, so the good thing about using a Dollar Tree mop is that the mop por portion of it is not very big like you would get from an expensive mop. Um, so these are like perfect size for making the gnome beard. And once you have a pretty good pile of these all pulled apart, then you can start gluing them on the base. And then we are just going to be using these light up LED necklaces that you get from the Dollar Tree. And um, they have lots of these little bulbs on them and you just want to cut them off. You don't need it to light up. They're really cute, but you don't need that part of it. Um, so just cut it right off of the wire. And then when you're ready to glue on, you just want to loop your mop, like your mop pieces around um, so that they're in half. And you don't want to glue them all the way on the tip of the light bulb. You want to leave a little bit of room. I think I left, I don't know, like um, a third of an inch or half of an inch, something like that on there. Um, and then you just glue all the way around. And I was overlapping my pieces uh, so that that way it filled in kind of the gaps where the loops were. And then you just keep gluing and keep adding those mop pieces until you reach um, the point to where you started. And then after you reach that point, then you want to start gluing just above that line um, of mop loops and do the same process. Just go all the way around. And just a little side note here, I always mention this on my blog, but I forget to mention it in my video series. Um, if you are making this with one of your kiddos, please use a low temp glue gun because the high temp glue guns, they're, e they're hot. They're even too hot for adults sometimes. Um, so just be safe and use low temp anytime that you're making things with kids. And then add one more layer of these loops. So you should have three layers of loops all together. And then once I got done with that last layer, I just went around and glued in loops anywhere that I found that there was um, too much yellow space showing through. And then just kind of give it a good little shake and straighten out the pieces, not too straight because you don't want it to be perfect. Um, and then just trim up the pieces that are obviously too long and um, just kind of not reshape it but just give it a more uniform shape because you want like a slight point on the end i added my little loop hanger to the back of it before i put the hat on um, and so i just glued it to the back of the ornament and then i took a tiny piece of felt and i glued that down on top of it just to make it a little bit more secure And then I used the same felt and I just kind of eyeballed it. I just kind of rolled it like it was a hat. And then I just used my fabric scissors and I trimmed it. And you want to use fabric scissors because sometimes when you're using um, felt, especially cheaper felt like this, um, the felt doesn't always want to cut and your scissors just kind of bend it more than they cut it. Um, and then I cut my hat down to where um, the hanger loop was hanging, would be hanging out, like sticking out just above it. And then I just placed some glue on there, stuck the hat down, and then I glued it all the way around. And you want to be sure that um, the hat, you're gluing the hat down below that last layer of loops that you glued on. And then because I eyeballed my hat just a little bit too big, um, I trimmed it down with my fabric scissors. And you don't need to put hot glue all the way up the seam of the hat. It'll stay put where it is. Um, and then you just wanna take some ribbon. I just used the same ribbon that I used for the hanger. Um, to hang it on the tree and you just want to tie the the top of the hat off with a little bow and then add a little nose so um, I used 
a little felt ball for the nose, um, but you could use anything. You could use a bell if you wanted to. You can use one of those tiny little wooden beads. Um, anything that really honestly is round, you could use. And then you're done with your ornament. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also stop by meganplus5.com for even more crafty tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.